Hey y'all, it's Marianne Pack. I want to know, are you a people pleaser? Do you live your life constantly looking to be approved of by others or worried about what others will think if you do this or that or don't do this or that? If you are constantly being a people pleaser to the neglect of your wants and desires and what pleases you, you're not free. I saw a quote from Joel Olstein, and it says, you're not really free until you've, you're free from trying to please everybody. That is so true. We are not living our lives and our truth if we are constantly pleasing other people. Yes, there are things, and we have responsibilities to take care of home and family and our responsibilities with work and living in this world. But if you are only pleasing others and not yourself first, you're living their life or what they're expecting your life to be. Don't live their life. Their life is already taken. They're living their life. You are responsible to live your life the way you were meant to live it. You've got to start saying no to some of the requests and demands on your life or how you do things. Because I love how Louise Hay says that she wished we could take the word should out of our vocabulary because should, all the things we should do or shouldn't do are just expectations from someone else that we are heaping on ourselves. And she said, replace it with could. Oh, well, I could do this or I could do that. When we do that, then we start asking ourselves, well, why haven't I done that? You know, uh, because when we start asking ourselves, why haven't we done it? Then it actually, the truth comes out. And it's because, well, I really don't want to do it in the first place. And it's just to please so-and-so. It's just what I'm expected to do because I live in this family or in this culture, or in this, you know, fill in the blank. And it's because of our, what we, how we value other people's opinions of us. And what we believe they think we should do. Start asking yourself, well, I could do this, but why? What, what is your motivation for performing whatever task or believing a certain way or whatever? Whatever the, the thing may be, um, start asking yourself, well, why am I supposed to do that? Why am I expected to do this? And when we start doing that, the truth starts coming out. And we realize it's only to be a people pleaser. Many times, it's only to be a people pleaser. Start pleasing yourself. Start thinking about what you want. And make sure that it is something positive and that, you know, everybody involved will reap the benefit. But when you're a people pleaser, many times you don't reap the benefit. You reap no benefit. You reap tension and stress and trying to live up to someone else's expectations, and it's never enough, it's never good enough, everything that I do doesn't please them just right. So start pleasing yourself. Be kind with yourself. And if you have to, start saying no to others. I can't do that for you. Um, I don't have time or I don't, whatever whatever reasoning you give, you know, if you need to just say no and walk away. You don't owe anybody an explanation, really. 
but you do owe yourself an explanation as to why you're not fulfilling your dreams and goals and aspirations. Don't live someone else's life. Everybody else's life is taken. Live your life. Live it to please yourself, and it will please the world. Make it a great day.